Providence City Council President Sabina Matos, chosen to be Rhode Island's next lieutenant governor. Good afternoon. I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Brian Yacono. Governor Dan McKee formally announcing his nomination today, right outside the State House. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado joining us live now with Matos is how making she's, his, she's making history today. Steph. Sabina Matos today spoke about her journey as an immigrant from the Dominican Republic to leading the city council in Providence. She is now poised to hold statewide office. I'm looking forward to being your partner and being on your team. Providence City Council President Sabina Matos nominated by Governor Dan McKee to take his old job as Lieutenant Governor of Rhode Island. If confirmed by the Senate, Matos will be the second woman and the first person of color in the job. As the first Afro-Latina woman nominated to this post, I'm grateful to the governor's commitment to diversity and inclusion. She listed these top priorities if confirmed. Getting vaccines in arm, getting people back to work, and addressing the affordable housing crisis, and helping our small businesses community to get back on their feet McKee says Matos will be an active member of his administration, in contrast with his own relationship with former Governor Raimondo when he was Lieutenant Governor. We're focused on reopening Rhode Island, reopening the schools, reopening the economy, and Sabine is going to play a, a, a significant role in that as Lieutenant Governor. And we'll see that on full display tomorrow when McKee says Matos will join him at the weekly coronavirus briefing. The timeline, though, for her confirmation is still uncertain. A Senate spokesperson tells me they have not yet formally received the nomination. And, Steph, of course, we know you cover the Providence City Council, where Matos is currently the president. So what happens next there? Yeah, this um, decision today has really shaken up City Hall. She, uh, Sabina Matos is still currently the city council president and considered the second highest ranking official in the city of Providence. So when she resigns from her position, Councilman John Igliosi is expected to at least temporarily ascend to be acting council president. He is also seeking his colleagues' votes to be the next city council president. It's unclear if he or any other counselors have the eight votes needed for that at this point, guys. A lot of moving parts there. 12 News reporter Steph Machado, thank you so much. Providence City Council President Sabina Matos has officially been chosen to be Rhode Island's next lieutenant governor. Governor Dan McKee formally announcing his nomination today outside the State House. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado joins us now live in studio with how Matos is making history and what her role will look like. Steph? Governor McKee says Sabina Matos will be an active member of his administration if she's confirmed by the Senate. That's different from his relationship with former Governor Raimondo when he was lieutenant governor. This photo of Governor Dan McKee and Council President Sabina Matos taken on Monday afternoon when he asked her to be the next lieutenant governor. Morning, everybody. Today on the State House steps, making it official. She will be an important partner in our fight against COVID-19 in our efforts to get shots in the arms as quickly as possible to all, everybody who lives in the state of Rhode Island. Matos is a well-known figure in Providence, today introducing herself to the rest of Rhode Island, telling her story of immigrating to the U.S. in the 90s, going to Rhode Island College, and being elected to the city council. As the first Afro-Latina woman nominated to this post, I'm grateful to the governor's commitment to diversity and inclusion. Political observers say Matos was a smart choice for McKee, who plans to run for governor next year. Campaigning side by side with Matos could help him with Providence voters and Latinos in the Democratic primary. But the governor says that is not why he picked her. That's ridiculous. Um, this is about the work, uh, and it's not about any political agenda. That work includes helping small businesses, tackling affordable housing, and of course, the pandemic. We must continue to step up our effort and to make sure. Vaccines are reaching our communities of color. And no word yet on when Matos' confirmation will be taken up by the Senate. They are still awaiting the formal nomination at this hour. I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.